everybody. Thank you very much for joining us here this evening. My name is Sam Smethers and I'm the Chief Executive of the Forsyth Society. And um, we will be handing over to our wonderful panel in a moment. Um, but I just wanted to say a couple of words about why we are staging this event today. And Forsyth is 150 years old this year and has a long track record of campaigning on women in the economy, women in political power, um, women in the criminal justice system and so on. And actually, the question of, of our place in Europe and our uh, uh, influence in Europe, if you like, is a central question for uh, Fawcett because it's really about the future of, of Britain. You know, and so staging a debate that, that enables women to participate in, in uh, hearing the arguments and hopefully enabling you to progress your thinking and not make a decision at this stage of the campaign felt like a really important role for Fawcett to play. We are staying neutral in this campaign, so our focus is very much on in, uh, enabling that debate and mobilising women to take part. And so with that in mind, we commissioned ICM to carry out a poll which we published this morning, and Anish is going to give you a bit more of an insight from that poll uh, in a moment. But essentially, what it's showing us is that women are very much still reserving judgment and are undecided in this campaign. And so what they're looking for is for both sides of the campaign to help uh, inform their judgment so they can make a decision. But for now, overwhelmingly, they're holding back and they're much more likely than men to do that. So really, the challenge is on for both of, of, of the campaigns. And, Given that there's one, more, one million more women than there are men uh, voting in this election, actually it, it makes perfect sense to put women front and centre of those campaigns, but so far our view is that that isn't what we've seen. So it's been a bit disappointing, frankly, in terms of the way uh, women are featured in the campaign and also the way the arguments have been presented. So I'm very much looking forward to the event this evening. Um, I'm going to hand over to Anushka uh, to uh, introduce the panel. Anushka Asana, who's the uh, political editor of The Guardian, really pleased to have her chairing tonight, and all of our panellists here tonight. We've got one more still to come, and you may have spotted uh, a key argument that the campaign is not yet physically represented on the panel. So Suzanne Evans from UKIP is on her way, and uh, will be joining the panel very shortly. Uh, but for now, we wanted to get going. So, Anushka, over to you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, welcome to you all and good to um, see you all here. I came back uh, to this job from maternity leave in March and landed in the middle of an election campaign. Um, one of the things I thought early on, and in fact I wrote about this for Grazia, was it kind of felt like all I could see was a bunch of white men shouting at each other. And that's kind of how the EU referendum felt like it was unfolding at that time. They might be a little bit unfair, but that was certainly where you heard the dominant voices. So I'm particularly glad that people are waking up to that and that we are having events like this. Not least because as this polling shows us, women are very, very important in this campaign. When I spoke to people back then in March, I remember both camps saying, actually, it could be won or lost on undecided women. Pretty depressing, then, that we see in this corset polling that actually women don't seem to be that bothered about either side right at the moment and not that persuaded. So maybe uh, our panellists today can persuade you, including our <laughs> invisible uh, lead campaigner, who I will um, introduce in a minute. So let me just tell you who we've got, what they're going to do, and then at the end of it we'll, of course, take questions. Um, so we've got Deborah Mattinson from Britain Thinks, who probably one of the most famous pollsters in the country, uh, sometimes feels like a... Very, a world that's very dominated by men. So I'm very glad to have Deborah here. She will kick us off with a presentation about what the polls tell us about women in this election. Um, and then I'm really pleased that we've got Catherine Mayer with us from the Women's Equality Party, uh, which is a really important group, which basically putting a gender lens on all the different issues neutral in this one, um, in the EU referendum. So she's going to tell us a bit about why Women Matter. And then Kate Green, the Shadow Women and Equalities Minister. Um, we've heard from Labour today, of course, from your leader at last. Um, so you can talk to us a bit about how you're going to mobilise Labour voters as well. Um, and then we are going to have, oh, we do have Suzanne Evans, no problem, <laughs> from the Leave side. So I'll, I'll let you 
get your breath. So Suzanne is a founding member of Women for Britain, which is a group um, trying to address that problem that we were talking about on the Leave side, and also a board member of Vote Leave, which has just got the designation, so will be the main out campaign. In fact, it all starts, it all kicks off tomorrow. That is the first official day of the campaign. Because we haven't got anyone else on the Leave side, not that Fawcett didn't try very hard to get someone else, um, I'm going to give Suzanne a little bit of extra time when she speaks. And then after that, um, I'd like to introduce Vicky Price, who's the former joint head of the UK's Government Economic Service, and she's going to talk to us a bit about the economics of it. Very much wants us to stay in the EU. So, uh, welcome to you all. Thank you for being with us, and let's kick off with Deborah. Just to say, Deborah's going to have to leave 7:30. I do. Um, but we will probably go on another.